Hey folks, and welcome back to our trip at sea here. If you watched the last episode, we boarded the Seahorse Ferry, also known as the Blue Dolphin. Just taking a look at this extravagant uh, restroom facilities here. But anyway, that's what we're going to do this time around. We're going to look at every everything on the ship that we can, from the engine and control room all the way up to the bridge and back. So there's lots to see here on the ship. Last time, we just had time to check in and shove off and start our journey down the Song Kla. We left Sat to Hip. If you missed that episode, I'll link it in the upper right-hand corner. But for today, let's uh, start exploring the ship a little bit while we're at sea here and see what there is to see. All right, so the lady at the reception was nice. The captain's busy right now. We'll catch up with him later. But the lady at reception was very nice. She showed me the showers. And uh, I'll show you. <clears throat> and they have lockers in here, so you just come down from your room. You can get a key from her. Put all your clothes and your private personal belongings in the locker. Jump in the shower, do your shower, come back, get your clothes out, dress, dry, whatever. So there's also a, a smoker's lounge. <laughs> Not much of a lounge, but a room. There's a room for that. It almost looks like a holding cell. Um, so the, the pink or the red uh, women's shower and the men's is blue. So there's that. I did tell you about a vending machine. I'll show you the vending machine. You know, in Japan, they're very big on vending machines, and this was a Japanese vessel. So they have a vending machine. Uh, not much in the vending machine that, uh, that I would eat. Nothing really solid, just junk. But that's what you expect. That's, anyway, that's what I expect in vending machines, junk. Um, but anyway, we will look at some more. We'll look at everything that I can possibly show you so you can get an idea of how how this whole thing goes. What, 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 what will your, your trip be like? Uh, what will it be like to sail on here? That's what this is really about. Oh, I just found these chairs and they got these little remote controls. Look, I don't know what they do. If they're like massage chairs or... I don't know, I'm pushing the buttons, nothing's happening. Anyway, we hit the mother load of vending machines. So there is a dining room. Beautiful dining room, lots of tables and chairs, a little bar to sit at, coffee, and about four or five vending machines. And they have a, a higher, uh, <laughs> a little bit of a higher uh, level of junk in them. <laughs> Even saw mama noodles and some things like that. So you're not gonna starve if you don't bring food, but um, maybe bring something, I don't know. But it, it's engineered so you can go to the, the, the dining hall, put your money in the vending machine, get some food out, sit down and have a snack. Um, or I guess if you brought food, you could eat it down there as well. So, I don't know what these chairs are. I'll find out, I'll ask somebody. <laughs> so one place we haven't been yet is the engine room. I gotta see what makes this thing tick. Gotta have, gotta be a motor in here somewhere. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. So we're gonna go down. I guess it's deep in the bowels of the ship. Thank you. The only boat motor I've ever seen is a, a 200 Mercury outboard. <laughs> I, think, I think this has something a little bigger than that. Uh. <laughs> the trucks. Oh, two ER. So ER. In the parlance of this means engine room, not emergency room. Oh, very steep steps. Wow, look at this. Look at all this. Oh, wow. <laughs> 14 cylinder boat engine. Look at that. That's just the top of it that you see there. The block is under here. It goes, look how far it goes down. Does anybody come? Wow. in here but wow I would say each engine is about the size of a small school bus okay Kyle Papoon Kyle oh we got the control room that's separate from the engine room oh wow oh wow <laughs> Okay, I 
I'll leave them to their work. Because we're at sea. We gotta take care of all the uh, technical stuff. Oh, I don't know if I'd like to work down there. So noisy. You have to wear earphones or something. Oh, okay, good, good, good. We can take the escalator back up. So, room for lots more cars. And later, this will all be full. It's when they, once they really get going. Nobody even really knows about this yet. Ah, here we go. Cocoon cop. Back in the escalator. <laughs> And this escalator can be switched. It goes up, or they turn a key and it goes down. They really don't want people, passengers, down here while the ship is underway. They, they want you to stay on the passenger decks where the rooms are, the dining hall, all that stuff. The, the cargo area, they kind of frown on people down there while the ship's underway. So as day turned into night here, it was time to go to bed and wake up and see what it's like to kind of sleep and then wake up in the middle of the ocean. Tomorrow will be another day for exploration. sleep. <clears throat> I was in bed at 9.30. I was up at 6. I went out. Beautiful sunrise. Windy out on the deck. Can't really... Uh, it's very windy out on the deck this morning. A part of that's because the ship is... The ship's trucking along at 20 kilometers an hour. Uh, not 20 kilometers. 20 knots, I'm sorry. <laughs> 20 knots per hour. But it's, uh, it's beautiful out there on the deck. I went out last night. The moon was so bright. We've had calm seas. You can barely ever feel this ship any motion at all. So, this morning, 10 a.m., um, meeting with the captain. He's, he's busy. This is his baby, and yesterday was his, you know, inaugural voyage here. And I gotta go get a shower. <laughs> Try that. And uh, see if I can get some... Oh, I'll tell you, I'll go in the room and show you something didn't work out the way I planned it. I was gonna plug my laptop in because it's got a 110, 220 thing, but here's what I didn't consider. The laptop charger has this kind of plug with these uh, three round prongs. And in the ship, you need this. You've got that, just like they have in the US. So, I mean, luckily I have some of these. These are also 110 rated. This is for my phone and uh, the, Another one for my battery charger for the cameras, <laughs> but for the laptop, I could I actually can't use that. But I did have a full charge on the battery. <sighs> um, I could barely see some land way over here. I saw a rainstorm. I'll show you uh, a rainstorm. I'll show you from out on the deck. But beyond that rainstorm, I could barely see some land. I'm thinking that that was Koh Samui. I'm thinking that was Koh Samui. But. Um, quiet in the room uh bed is soft i i slept uh i don't know over eight hours i'm gonna try and uh, go get a shower and <laughs> then meet up with the captain at 10 o'clock for uh my tour so that's how we're gonna start today Whew. just got out of the shower thanks thanks sir i sure do so while I'm down on this end of the ship, I thought I'd look at another another sleeping option that they have, probably uh, the most popular one. It's called a pod, and it would be this guy right in here. So let's go in. We'll just see. Uh, <laughs> we'll just see what this is like inside. Take my shoes off. Now we gotta crawl in. Oh, wow. Okay, and you got this. Whew. 
so I'm 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 laid flat and my feet don't touch the end and my head doesn't touch the end I've got a couple inches on each side I can just about sit up in here let me see I can just about sit up in here and you got your light the mattress actually feels better than the mattress in my room the mattress in my room was soft but maybe a little old a little bit too soft maybe this actually feels better and that's it got a vent in here there's ventilation um, and your lights a couple different settings on the light that's like your night light mode I guess the pill is a small guy but uh, I could sleep in here and you got a window right there to the outside so that's a pod, not much to it. They've got 80 of these. They've got 80 pods. They only have a handful of the other rooms. Uh, I'll try to get the exact numbers. But this is, will probably be one of the most popular sleeping options on the, on the ferry. So I thought I would take a little siesta in there. But not bad, not bad. Actually more room in there than what I thought it was. <laughs> So wouldn't you know, the captain was actually up early, so we got started early. And first uh, thing we walked by was this little romper room here. If there's kids, if you have children, a little area for them to play and a TV up there. This area outside with the vending machine, this was a, a games room. Of course, all the games have been removed, but who knows? Uh, they could make that into something. But what, we'll, what we're going to do, we're going to start out by going uh, down this corridor this is like the crew quarters back in here and and this kind of leads to a a, a a kind of a back stairwell I call it and that goes up to the top deck which is where the bridge is so that's where we're headed we're gonna go up to the bridge the uh, topmost deck of the ship and see what's doing up there Wow Wow! look at this how many car Hello, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> oh, look at all this. Captain can explain better than me. Yeah. <laughs> These are other ships? Uh, yeah, this is the island. Now oh. we have the Kokka. Oh, yeah, the name. Oh. Kokka. This is Kokka. You Kokka. can see it also in the chart. <laughs> this one. Oh, yeah, this is our route direct to the oh. Songkha channel. Uh, At 6.30 this morning. This got Pangan and Samui. Around 6 o'clock. I saw two yeah, I saw two right. islands, the sun that's, coming up. Yeah. I this guess right. and, and Koh Pangan. Pangan. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Very good, very good. Yeah, so very, uh, that's the steering it's wheel. Really cool view, so very, very full. <laughs> yeah. With the sunlight. Yeah. It was. It, there was a uh, rain. So I was right. That was Koh Samui and Koh Panyan on the horizon this morning. The captain has just confirmed it. Yeah, cool being up here on the bridge uh, I've never been on a big ship like this it's just like what I've seen in the movies you know they got all the equipment the gauges everything has that nautical uh, nautical feel to it. it's amazing <laughs> I guess for some of you guys that have been in the Navy and big round big commercial ships and stuff it's nothing special but for me it's the first time um, up here on the bridge 
I can get a sense of the, of the vessel rocking a little bit. They brought the stabilizers in their stabilizer, but they brought those in to increase speed a little bit um, because they got a current against them right now. They're going against the current. So there's a slight roll. I can, I can feel it way up here on the bridge. I can't, I don't get the sensation of that down in the dining room or in my cabin or on the decks. I, I can't, I, I really don't get the feeling of the horizon dipping and, and uh, going up and down. But here, up here I do a little bit. It's not that I feel seasick or anything. I just, for the first time, get the feeling of some motion. But, wow. <laughs> Not a bad place to uh, to come to work every day, I guess, up here. It's beautiful. We just passed a couple islands. So we're due in around 1240, I think. So can't wait to get back on the, uh, get back on the GS 1200 and hit the town. <laughs> so it's 930 right now, 930 in the morning. We got about three hours to make the port. We're starting to get in the closer. We're, I saw some fishing boats out there and Tell we're getting closer to land we passed a couple islands it was really cool to go up on the bridge he says uh captain steve he took time out of his busy schedule to take me up there so it was very nice of him i know especially being the first trip they're swamped with a lot of different things but i just discovered another feature of the ship so apparently you can bring a pet they have uh, i guess you would call it a kennel area up on one of the decks so there are cages there, so the animal will be put in a cage, but there's a seating area there, so you could kind of spend some time in there with your animal. And then there's a little walk. They have a little area, almost like a little patio for the pets, and that's kind of separated from the rest of the deck. It's outside. So the, the, the dog can go outside, or cat. I guess it would be a cat as well. I don't know. But um, they have facility for bringing, for bringing your pet. So I think that's nice as well. Um, and it, I think pretty comfortable conditions. Uh, better than not having it, I guess. And there's two of those. I'm just showing you one, but apparently there's two of these, one on each side of that deck. So very nice. Starting to see some trash float by. We must be getting close to, uh, <laughs> we must be getting close to land. But the big thing I'm looking forward to is riding the bike off into Song Kla, and we got some cool places to go to there. Um, so we don't have long, we don't have long, but uh, we'll try to make the most of the time that we have. So yeah, big thanks to Captain Steve and the whole crew of the Blue Dolphin for showing me around and making me feel at home on the high seas. Uh, the bigger rooms, the premier rooms were, were all booked up there were paying guests in those but i did find some pictures to show you uh that's what they are they are much bigger uh, they have bathrooms on them uh, i think one even has a, a big tub but if you want a room like this make sure you're booking it book in advance because there's only a, a several of these so something for every taste next time we will arrive to song clock get off the ship and see what's doing there but anyway hope you enjoyed the episode i'm gonna go ahead and leave this one off right here and as usual i'll thank you for watching and until next time, bye for now.